going to be doing one of my favorite math activities, which is counting collections. Uh, to do counting collections, the first thing that you're going to have to do is find something to count. I grabbed a handful of beans at home because I had that lying around in my kitchen. You could also count um, some pasta if you have an open bag of pasta. But if you don't want to use any food because you don't want to make it dirty before you clean it and before you cook it, you can grab a box of crayons you have lying around, or you could even open up that piggy bank and grab some coins like I could from my son's piggy bank. Anything that you have around the house to count is fine. Now, once you have a collection to count, you're going to count your collection two times to make sure that how that the number that you counted is accurate, okay? Um, I'm going to record what my collection items on a piece of paper, but you can record this on the next slide in this video. I mean, in this, in your Google Slides. I'm gonna write here that my collection item is beans. And I am looking for the total in my collection, which I don't know yet. And now I'm gonna go ahead and count. I think the first time I count, I'll count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, I'm gonna start again because I saw that straggler. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 57. Okay, so I think I have 57. I'm gonna jot that down right here and I'm gonna double check it by counting again to make sure this is accurate, it's correct. This time I guess I'll count by tens. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 7. Let's, let me count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 57. Okay, um, I believe that number is accurate. So the total number in my collection is 57 beans. Now I need to show how I counted. So I could draw these groups of 10 or I could represent them with something else, maybe a number. I think I'll do that. I think I'll write a 10 for each of these groups of 10 and then write the number seven. So this is how I counted. I counted 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, plus seven is 57. Oops. Okay. Um, now, now that I've done that, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna even actually make a little circle. Those are my circles of beans. Those were kind of my groups. And this is my leftover. Now, because we are focusing on division in fourth grade, I thought it might be interesting to use our collection to think about how um, we could separate this total amount, this whole amount, into equal groups. So um, each time you're going to do a counting collection, you're going to do some extension questions that helps you think through this idea that division is the separation of a whole amount into equal groups. So one way to do that is to ask ourselves, can you share these objects equally between mm, people? So I could ask myself, can I share these objects equally between two people? Well, I guess what I could do is I could try that out. I could try to divide it in between two people. Okay, let me try that. 
two. You know what I didn't do? I should actually um, predict whether I can. I'm thinking probably not because this is an odd number and 57 is an odd number. And um, I know that to split something between two people, we can't have a remainder or leftover when it's an even number. Well, let's see. Two, two, four, four, six, six, eight, eight, ten, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen, eighteen. 18, 20, 20, 22, 22, 24, 24, 26, 26, 28, 28. Oh, and I have one left over that I can't count. So no. I cannot share these equally between two groups. Um, so I'm going to write that on my sheet in my extension question. Now I know that each person will get 28 and there'll be one left over. So here's my extension question. Can I share these objects equally between two people? Here's an extension question. No, I cannot share these objects equally between two people. And I'm going to write a um, math sentence or a number sentence to represent that. That's because 57 divided by 2 is 28 with a remainder of 1. There's one left over, so I can't split it equally. Okay, friends, so that's, this is what you're going to do for your counting collections. Instructions are on the next page. You can either show your work in the Google slide or on the next page, I'll show you how to take a picture of any work that you did on a pencil and paper and upload it to your slide. Have fun!